from Second Kings chapter 5, If you will not, said Naaman, please let me, your servant, be given as much earth as a pair of mules can carry. For thy servant will never again make burnt offerings and sacrifices to any other god but the Lord. Here comes the key verse, verse 18. But may the Lord forgive thy servant for this one thing. When my master, the king of Assyria, enters the temple of an idol called Raymond to bow down, and he is beside me, leaning on my arm, I will have to bow there also. When I bow down in the temple of the idol Raymond, may the Lord forgive your servant for this. Go in peace, Elisha said. So I will leave you to interpret this, this part of the scripture. All right, but one thing is sure is that the Lord has nothing to do with idol worship. It is very true. There is only one God. All the other idols, they are not gods at all. So they will have no effect in our lives as true Christians. There's a parable of the Samaritan. It said that a Levite passed through that way and then a priest passed through the way. But it was a Samaritan, a non-believer that helped the man who was wounded on the road. So that one is in the book of Luke chapter 10, 10 verse 31 to 33. He said that a priest passed the, the same road, saw the man, but passed by on the other side and, the, and did not help him. A Levite passed the place and saw him, yet also passed by the other side. But a Samaritan, a non-believer, not an Israelite, a not, not of God's people, passed through the man and came to help him. The last scripture reference on whether idol worshipping idols can harm Christians or will it be a hindrance to our Christian life. Numbers chapter 23, verse 23. It said that there will be no divination against Jacob, no evil omens against Israel, meaning that no, no witchcraft can affect true Christians. So we should not worry about it. What matters is your heart. Jesus Christ said that what comes on the outside cannot defile us because it is what comes out of us that defiles us. So what happens on the outside? Your family and all that. It cannot defile you except what is coming out from you. That is what defiles you. That is what Jesus Christ said. Okay? Nothing outside a person can defile them by going into them. Rather, it is what comes out of a person that defiles them. So meaning, if there's idol worship beside you and all that, this is on the outside. They cannot defile you. Rather, it's what you think that defiles you.